have one Twisby Classic and one Twisby 580. Both have a fine nib, but they write with different line size. Why this happens? <laughs> I like that. Twitter, you gotta save them characters, right? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna zoom back in. Let's check it out. Okay, so I got a Twisby Classic, Twisby 580. This is actually 580 all, but um, other than the aesthetics and the grip being aluminum and whatnot, um, the, the nib and everything is gonna be the same on the 580 all as it is with the 580. So I've taken some, some liberties there to, uh, to compare. Um, so the nibs look very similar, but they are in fact different. If you look at them, you can see, especially in the width, it's gonna be different. So the wings come out a little bit further on the 580. That's because these are different nibs. This is a number five nib, this is number four. So the 580 uses a number five size nib. What does that actually mean? Um, that means on the base of the nib, it's five millimeters apart. The base of the nib on this one is four millimeters apart. So in general, the larger the number, like a number six, like you would have on the Ojiva, is even bigger. So you see. Um, there is a difference there. So it's somewhat of a standardization, maybe not across all brands, but a lot of them. So number five size here, number four size here. What does that actually make a difference for in terms of how I'm answering this question? Um, that doesn't particularly matter, the fact one's bigger or smaller or whatever. It just is meant to show you that the nibs are different. They look similar, but they're actually just completely different nibs. So they're gonna be ground, and this one's actually a stub, so it's really different, but um, if you've got two fine nibs on these two particular pens, they're gonna be two really different nibs, so the line width on them might be different. You know, when it comes to nib sizes, it's a bit like women's dress sizes. Yes, you can get a size eight, but what does that actually mean? Well, it depends on the cut, depends on the you know season, it depends on the you know a lot of different factors than the manufacturer, whatever. It's kind of a, a a guess at what size it might be, but you could be a six in one size and a twelve in another. You know, it can kind of range a little bit. That might be a bit of an extreme case, but um, even from the same manufacturer, a fine nib can be a little bit different from one pen to another, which is why I have the Nib Nook writing tool on GouletPens.com, so you can check out the difference between the actual line variation that you get between one pen and another. Um, so I definitely recommend you check that out. It would come in really handy. What I will say though is that the nibs on the, um, the Twisby Mini, the Twisby Eco, and the Twisby Classic are all that number four size. So the 580 might be a little bit different than the rest of those three, but those other three I think you'll see are very similar to each other. Um, and then the last thing I'll kind of say is like, there, that, that could certainly be the factor. Um, but it could also be that um, there is some actual variation there. You know, the, the nibs are manufactured, um, you know, by machines. It's not completely handmade, but the final like tuning and honing steps are usually done by hand, which means there could be some slight variation from one to another. So it could definitely be the case that there actually is a bit of variation. Uh, that could be coming from the factory, it's possible. It's not as often that happens, especially with one pen model. Um, you won't you often see a lot of variation, but it can definitely happen. I see that happening with Lamy nibs sometimes, especially with the extra fines, because those have a lot of handwork involved. The finer the nib you go, the harder it is to really be consistent with its size. Um, and then um, the ink that you're using could also be a huge contributor, okay? So if you're using, if you got the same pen, same nib and you're using two different inks, that line could look very different. Paper is also a huge factor. So I don't know, if you really wanna test out how uh, line width can vary from one pen to another, you really gotta use consistent ink and paper and kind of test it out more like that. Um, so there's that, and then it also could be if you got one pen like a while ago, if you have a really heavy hand or something like that, um, it could be that you have actually used it enough to spread out the tines a little bit and increase the flow, increase the line width of that particular pen. And if you get a newer one or some other different one that's not been used as heavily, you could get a little bit of variation there. So there's a lot of factors that could come into play, but I think personally it's more of a difference between you got two different nibs on these pens and it's just that, you know, you're finding that that one nib is just a little bit finer than the other. <laughs>